people say I make the best pixel art on YouTube. They go like, God, your pixel art is so awesome. We've never seen anything like this before. And I don't blame them, okay? Uh, sometimes I get like 20,000 emails a day. Okay, so I want to show you the new beta for this program. And um, I don't think it's a new beta. Uh, this program is called... Uh, what is this program called? Okay, it's called Pixel Edit. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Um, I have never used this before. Uh, I only seen other people use this. And uh, it looks pretty easy, okay? It kind of reminds me of a um, stripped down version of Photoshop. Actually, when uh, Photoshop came out back in the 1920s, uh, this is what it looked like, okay? They actually had to draw Photoshop on paper before computers came out. That's how advanced Adobe was at the time. They had Photoshop ready before computers. If the interface looks like Windows 3.1, uh, you're right, because it does. And I guess they're going for that look, which is good. Going for that look is awesome. I, I like that already. I like the 1920s look. It's awesome. I didn't have to pay for this one. I actually just downloaded this from their website. Spoiler, they have it there for free. So download it, guys. And uh, we are going to make Zoom kick-ass uh, pixel art. Okay. Okay, at first, if you're confused and you don't know what to do uh, when you first open this, well, that makes two of us because uh, I'm looking at these and I like have no idea what to do. I know you have layers here and you have a uh, and you have your color palette here, uh, which is good. Uh, make sure I don't uh, don't push the delete button, okay? Because then you have to replace the color. Pretty standard. We have a, a pen tool, uh, shortcut F. I don't know why it should be P, but anyways, B for like Photoshop. The eraser is D. I would have made that an E button. I don't know if you can change those um, those shortcuts. The bucket should be G, just like Photoshop, but it's S here. So I kind of don't like learning new um, shortcuts. I like things to be the same as Photoshop. I don't know if you can actually. Um, change the shortcuts but uh but yeah so we're just gonna click on them right so uh, sometimes i like to use the keyboard uh okay what is this here tile draw tool i have no idea what that is okay it looks like it you select the whole box uh this here is uh the color picker okay you can pick colors color replace tool and this uh the notch tool i, I don't know what that does and the pen tool, which is pretty self-explanatory. And the zoom tool, which is also extremely self-explanatory. So we got tile sets here. Uh, and this kind of reminds me of, of the old uh, GDevelop. Hopefully it works the same way. Okay, so let's just paint something here on the side. Let's just make an X. Uh, select with the eraser. Make an X. And you can see the X over here. Can we zoom in here? How do we zoom in? Okay, uh, the wheel zooms this, so that's no good. Can we make this bigger? Okay, maybe this button here. And that seems to work fine. Let me just put the uh, tile sets down here and my layers down here. Or oh, maybe try to keep them like Photoshop. I don't know. M maybe keep them here for now. I, I want I want a big window here. Maybe I can have my layers here just like Photoshop. And my tile sets, uh, keep them, keep them here, I guess. So we have an X there. Okay, let's just make a circle, and um, that's that. Now, if you um, if you color this, you can see it over on the, over this side here. And just um. I'm not making anything, I'm just clicking around here just to see what this what this does. Okay, so if you want to draw on the next one, there's a... Um, you can make another pattern. But uh, let me just... Uh, uh, I don't know, just make something here. Nothing in particular. Just an abstract shape so i'm assuming this thing here um does something oops what did that what i did at the time okay so control select there you go that's my tile set 
and uh, we're gonna fill this with um, tile set number eight. I don't know why I made that eight. Okay, I guess you, you, you I guess you can select it and um, and uh, make it that tile. Okay, kind of like Photoshop, really. Which means that uh, if you select eight and you change it, it will change for everything else. Okay, see if I can make something meaningful here. Um, just erase this here. We're gonna try to make something. Something for real. Okay, uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And uh, here is my pen tool. And um, let's draw something. Okay, uh, let me just get rid of everything else. Okay, so this will be the grass here. This will be our plant. Terrible pixel art. But, um... This is just for this example. Let's make, um... Some sort of tree. Or bush. Bird's eye view. Okay, make it darker. Go back to this. Soften the uh, corners. And that looks not too bad. Okay, so let me just um, add some dots around. And that looks actually not too bad. I'm kind of happy with it. All right, let's make another tile. Select this tile here, and I'm um, just going to erase that there. Let me uh, let me paint this, and you can see that that tile went away there. I'm just gonna make grass like this. So this will be our new tile, and I think you can just click on this uh, button. Oh no, you don't. You Gotta press on. I think you have to hold control. So now we can um, create some sort of path. Okay, like if you were creating an RPG game, this uh, this would be the way to create a map. Super easy. Now this doesn't seem like uh, a whole lot. Okay, and uh, you might be right. Oh, I, I believe this is a uh, twelve by twelve. Um, you can make larger maps, okay? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can resize this. Let me see if you can. Uh, resize canvas. Try uh, twenty-four. Wow, <laughs> that gave us a lot, and that might be a little too much. It looks like there is no undo for the uh, resize, so I wonder if you can just go minus, uh, minus, minus 16. Ah, uh, that kind of worked. That's fine. I, I'm happy with that. So we can add some more here on the side. 10 more to the, uh, to the right. Oh, 10 is too much. Minus 5. And I'm happy with that. Okay. I actually can just paste uh, more of these tiles here like this. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit over here so you can see what's happening. All right. And maybe here. And you can just click and drag to um, make the process faster instead of clicking each box individually. So let me just select some of these uh, grass areas. So I guess we can add some water here. Let's just, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some water. Maybe like a little pond here. Select a new tile, and uh, maybe this one here. 
zoom in and uh, we need some water okay um, fill this with water and um, we want this to have some some sort of shape what we can do it's uh, we can select um, uh, this here fill out uh, with um, fill that with water this one was water. This oh 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 not oh, that one, not that one. That one too is gonna be this one. And um fill it with water. Select um this one. Okay, let's just select this one. And we also fill it with water. Okay, so we got four, four, right? Okay, so we got four. Didn't mean to make that complicated. And, uh, and because it's not. Put some leaves there on top of that. And there we go. Okay, there's our water there. Um, make sure this is around square shapes. That kind of looks like the logo for, um, Goda, Godo, Godo, the Godo, the Godo game engine. Okay. All right. So we want um, for the water. Water shouldn't be just like that. So we um, some blue rim around it. A lot of people overthink uh, pixel art, and uh, the best way to to do pixel art is just just do it and you know and the only rule for pixel art is that uh, if it looks good uh, you're you're good okay and if it doesn't well just change a few things and see what works and what doesn't work there is a uh, no right and wrong pixel art okay uh, actually there is um, a ton of games that have like terrible terrible pixel art but they're great games okay example uh undertale okay no maybe maybe not undertale undertale has okay pixel art at least it's better than this <laughs> so there is our water okay we got four four tiles for water we don't necessarily have to use um this here we can delete those and now we have those tiles here. Um, let me just uh, zoom in closer so you can see the tiles. Uh, so we can take this tile um, around here, and, and it's like a puzzle. Okay, you just um, have to uh, piece it together. Okay, then then there is your um, your water. So now you can put water anywhere. Um, okay, we can. Um, Put some more here and here. There you go. You can make other tiles for the small ponds. So let me just do the one like that. Let me, let me do another one right here. Let me just take a tile, um, take this tile here, and um, I'm gonna fill it with that uh, green. Zoom in. Fill it with green, and uh, we're going to. Put a little bit of water. Not very much. Just a little tiny bit. Just like a little puddle. I'm gonna keep with the same uh, style, just uh, to the edges with um, a darker kind of blue. Let me just soften these edges here. I don't like that look square, so. <laughs> it's pixel art, but it doesn't have to look. Uh, all squarey. Okay, so now you can take this here and just patch that there and uh, maybe we can add some um, Some puddle water here. Just select that tile and place it over there and um, Yeah, that 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 kind of doesn't work there, but let me just place um, Small puddle water around there. Okay. I think that looks better there. Okay, and uh, I think you get the point. You can uh, make your map as big as you want, and um, you can create all the pixel art here. Now, if you wanted to save this, 
you can simply go to file and you can go export image gdevelop and uh, you don't have to use gdevelop you can use any other game engine okay i used to use a uh, click team fusion 2.5 but um since i was banned from the uh, forum i decided to start using a uh, uh, gdevelop 5 which turned out to be awesome so we're gonna go to resources and uh, we're gonna find grassland and disable smooth image okay and now we're gonna press play okay you can see that um, you can use the um, uh, let me just put this in a different layer and now we just have a clean background can we move Oh no, they caught me. Anyways, this is <laughs> this is not for this kind of games. Um, this is for a, a uh, this is for a um, a game more like Zelda or like or uh, Undertale kind of thing. Okay, so there you go, guys. Um, this is how you can create a, a tile set in um, uh, Pixel Edit. Very original name, guys. I I gotta give credit to the. Uh, to the makers of this software for creating an awesome uh, pixel editor by giving it pretty stupid name. Uh, the editor is pretty good, guys. Uh, I don't know about the name. Pixel Edit. Uh, if you want to download this, uh, the link is down below, guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Also, leave a comment. Okay, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye now.